the ot assistant in 2000 arey wa okay i was there for almost one year acha and i have done sociology course from jamnagar and now i am at aurang mm-hmm. okay any one to learn sociology so uh, that uh, means if anyone wants to uh, take a hands on training in surgery you know that hindu sub hospital um, bms people hindu sub Correct. hospital because they give lot of liberty to we people because that is a charitable hospital hmm hmm correct 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 anyway yes, project ma'am yes sir yes sir. yes okay if you just call me eh? yes sir thank you sir
सारे बेड़े रुक गए थे हेलो डॉक्टर निकेता हेलो डॉक्टर निकेता कैन यू मी यस मैम आई कैन हियर यू या जस्ट कॉल डॉक्टर जल्पा फास्ट एंड गाइड हर हाउ टू जॉइन शी इज नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग डॉक्टर निकेता आई हेव मेड यू को होस्ट ऑल्सो डॉक्टर जल्पा सो आई मेड बोथ ऑफ यू कोहोस्ट नाम ठीक है ओके मैम So, do you know the technical things that we want? We have to do today. Yeah, ma'am, she knows. Jalpa, ma'am knows. We both know. Just uh, check on YouTube also, na, if uh, we have if the live streaming has started. It is streaming live, ma'am. It is streaming, na, good. Yes, yes. Those who are subscriber, uh, subscriber, na, uh, they will get notification. That's good. That's good. Yeah. You want to practice? Then I got one? notification. Are you? Okay. That's great. Do you want to practice one, or should we uh, call in the host or uh, the speaker? Uh, I'll just give a call to. Uh, I'll just give a call to Swati Mohanty, Madam. Till then, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Now all the best, you two. You're doing very good, and you know you'll do very good. I know that. All the best okay. to you. Thank you, ma'am. We practiced also, and you both were good. So yeah, very good. Okay. जल्पा मैम एक बार बोलना है 
चले गए यार आप आपका वाला पार्ट स्टार्ट करो देखेंगे एक मीडम हम्म मैम मेरी आवाज क्लियर है ना यस यस बोलो आई वाज जस्ट कॉलिंग डॉक्टर स्वाति मैम और फोन इज बिजी सो या Your audio, your audio, both the audios are clear. Just uh, let yes. me see if the video is also clear. Can I see us now? Yes, yes. Let's start the video. Yes, yes, start the video, na. Let us check the video video Let us check quality also na. Yes, I have already started I I not not able to view your video. I'm not able to to view view your I am Dr. Nikita both ma'am. We can't see you Dr. Jalpa. But I have already on the video ma'am. No, we can't see you. Just try once again. I think you are not connected to that. Ha, huh? your video is off. Start the video. Now. No, I can't. Doctor Nikita, start the video. Can you see me? No, I can't see. Ah, Nikita, ma'am. Ah, I can see Nikita, ma'am, and you also, ma'am. You can see. Okay. Ah, ah, uh, your video is, I think, off, no? No, I, I can I see Nikita. I have stopped the video. Let me see. Ah, now I can see you, ma'am. Okay. Okay, but I'm not able to see you both, huh? Ma'am, but my video is on, ma'am. I can I see, see you. Are you even Jalpa, ma'am? Ah, also. yeah. Ah, you can see. Too. Yes, can yes, see you. fine. Fine, that's okay. I'll just give our speaker one more time. I'll just call. Okay. डॉक्टर डॉक्टर निकिता या डॉक्टर शल्पा आई कैन नाउ सी योर वीडियो डॉक्टर निकिता जो स्टार्ट योर वीडियो डॉक्टर निकिता यस वेरी गुड वेरी गुड सो स्पीकर इज इट इज इट बिजी ऑन कॉल 
seconds and try again in some time you can just uh, practice uh, like off camera and then we will start after that all the best to you thank you and then जल्पा मैम यस मैम मैम एक बार बोलिए मैम आपका लाइन अरे वो हम खुद से प्रैक्टिस कर लेते हैं ना हाँ वही अभी वही बोल रहे थे इसलिए एक बार कर लीजिए हाँ वही वही मैम और क्या मेरा हम खुद से प्रैक्टिस कर लेते हैं हाँ। और मैम जब वो क्यू एन सेशन होता है ना तो आप मुझे वोट ऑफ थैंक्स के लिए फिर से आ, ये कीजिए आप इनवाइट कीजिए ओके मैम हम्म क्योंकि मैं ही तो अच्छा नहीं करूंगी आफ्टर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ फैशन आई विल डू यस नहीं ना आप बोलिए नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल डॉक्टर निकेता फॉर वोट ऑफ थैंक्स हां हां यस यस हां because my question answer round be uh, after the completion of uh, session matlab that lecture ah we should start na ha huh? then again i should repeat that nahi aapko kuch repeat nahi karna hai bas aap itna hi boliye ki aap mujhe out of thanks ke liye invite kar rahe par agar session complete ho gaya tab main ma'am ko bata dungi ki matlab uh, unko theek hai lecture ke bare mein fir to main aapko bol bol dungi ki now Doctor Nikita will continue the next uh, mm. session. Ha, huh, then Doctor Jalpa, then... Doctor yes, Nikita, all this is getting live recorded, so we okay. can do the soft cam. Okay. Okay. I'm just seeing if uh, Doctor uh, Swati Ma'am screen or. Uh, Screen, if it is not getting shared, then if my screen sharing is working on, okay, I'll do that. I'm sharing my screen now, just in case if uh, the screen of Doctor Monique Nam.
गुड इवनिंग मैम वेरी गुड इवनिंग मैम Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Am ma I audible now? Evening. Yes, yes, ma'am. You are audible. I am just making you the host, and then you can start screen sharing. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I have made you the host. You can start with the screen sharing. Wait. Hmm. Can you see it? Yes, yes. We can see. It. Very clear. Yeah, now I will make. Uh... I'm slide show. Update. Yeah, yeah. Update. Just a minute. Just a minute. It is why it is not working. I don't understand. Just a minute. Wait. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Is it okay now? Yes, it is okay, ma'am. You can yeah. start. You can just you can just keep the first slide uh, open on the slide show, and we will wait for ten minutes, and then we will start. Is it very small? Ah uh, yes, ma'am. You will have to go on slide show option, which is no, 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 no. Top. Can you see it now? I can see it, ma'am. Yeah. Wait. I know that, but yes, is it moving now? Ah, uh, it's not moving. Ah, so there is some problem. Can you see? Is it moving now? I can see the second slide, ma'am. Ah, uh, now is it, it is. This is third slide. Hmm, I can't see the third slide. So what is the problem? Tell me. This always happens. <laughs> Okay. Uh, are you joining from laptop or mobile? Yeah, yeah. Of course, laptop. Not from mobile. Laptop. Mm -hmm. Acha. Okay. Can you see the third slide? No, no. I can't see the third. Now, what to do? Tell me. You can uh, try to switch. Uh, shut it down. Shut down the presentation. No, no. What switch. I will do? I will just stop sharing. Okay. Huh? Okay. And you started first on the laptop. Yeah, yeah. I already, I have already started on the laptop, mm -hmm. but now I will close that also, and I will open it again. Correct. Yes. Correct. I will Correct. do the things again. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Why it is not opening? It's not opening in the laptop as well. Yeah, no, it is not opening in the laptop only. Okay. Hmm. Now I will share the screen again. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma yes, we can see it. But many screens are open in my laptop now. Wait. Huh. Yeah, correct. Now I will start. Uh... Okay. Is it, uh, move? Yes. Can you see? Check, ma'am. I can see, ma'am. Just check if it is moving to the next yes, slide. Yes, yes, yes. That only I will do. This is the second slide. Okay. I can see the first. I can see the first. Oh, there is some problem. Is there? Tell me. What should I do? You are screen. You are you are screen sharing live. Huh. Just uh, start the slide show now, ma'am. We'll, uh, yeah, yeah. I have slideshow. started the slide show. Okay. Because we are not able to view the slide show. 
we are uh, able to view in the document form. Just click on the slide for one. Yeah, yeah, I have already done that. Slide show. Uh -huh. Correct. Uh, the no fifth problem. option, which is there up there, up on the bar. Just go on that one. Which bar? Slide. Uh, home, insert, design, animation, slide show. Just okay. go there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, click on slide show. And from beginning, uh, click on that option. From beginning. Okay, wait. First wait. option below. Slide show. Uh, from beginning. Correct. Okay, now can you see second one? Mm, I can't see second one, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Now tell me. Just click it again, ma'am. Let's see. From beginning. Slide show. Mm. From beginning. Yes, I did that. Can you see second one? I can see second one, ma'am. But uh, it is not in slide show. It is normal one. But I can see that on the slide show. I am not facing the problem, but... I don't know why it okay. is happening there with you. Okay. Dr. Zalpa, Dr. Nikita, just help me out here. Tell what me what to do now. What can you see? Are you able to view the slideshow? No, ma'am. I'm no, not able to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fine. Uh, ma'am, just double click on the first slide. Wait. I can show you on the. You can uh, see my video call. I am able to see from here, but I don't know why it is not happening there. Can you see? This is my screen. You pick up the phone. Prajakta, yes. you pick up the phone and see okay. if it is okay. open on my side. But why you are not okay. able to fine. view, I don't understand. Yes, yes. Fine, fine. I will. I will. Yeah, this is the call. Calling. Can you see? See? Yes, ma'am. See, I'm moving to the next slide. Correct, correct. Moving to the next slide. Correct. Next slide. So it is there on my laptop, and whatever you told me, I am doing the same thing. See, from the beginning, slide show, from the beginning, from beginning. Correct. Yes, I did that. This is the first slide. Now this is the second slide. Now this is the third slide. Now this is the fourth slide. Tell me what to do now. It is, I am doing from my side, but why it is not, uh, you are not able to see that, I don't understand. Correct. So it could be a Zoom sharing. I will again remove your and again add your notes and then again Okay. Otherwise, otherwise, I will send you the mail of this PPT because I have sent you the peer. Rajakta, do one thing. Yeah, wait. Rajakta? Rajakta, na? Hello, ma'am. Ah, yes. Yeah, Rajakta, yes. Uh, you can ask for the sharing, you know, sharing the screen. Yes, ma'am, I was just doing that. We were yeah. just having a video call. Ma'am was sharing the screen, but uh, when I, I saw in the video call, in when ma'am was doing at her end, everything is moving very correctly. But on now Zoom, we are not able to move that. Now it is yeah. moving. Just check it again. And if it is not possible, I can uh, means, uh, directly connect with the Daga, sir. So he will do. Just let me know. Uh, you have, yes, we have. Yes, yes. Yes, I also have the PPT, ma'am. If it is not no, I have sent the PPT because I I send you the uh, PDF. No, I PDF. Yes, the PPT yes. also. Correct. So Correct. if you want to share that from your side, you can also do that. Okay. Okay. Correct. Just try one from your side. It it can be done. It can be done, Prajat. Just try for a second, and uh, it will be. Everything is yes, fine from yes. this side. Just let's check yeah. it from the Daga, sir. And if you can what do I it. did, I stopped the sharing again. Okay. Huh. Okay. Now I will hmm. share. I will yes, share, share. Start sharing now. Share it. Yes. Okay. Try once, ma'am. Yes. Yes, I will try. Is it okay? Yeah. 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 Start okay. the slideshow. 
now i will start the slide show yes a uh, slide show from beginning hmm. okay the first slide yeah. is visible no ma'am no we can right. see the we can see the fourth slide and that is not in the slide <laughs> ma'am what you do you just send me the ppt i have already yes, sent me the, yes, i have already yes. sent i'll start, I'll start it right yeah but you know i want to share few more things also see mm -hmm. uh, whether it it is possible or not what you want to share ma'am because i want to actually i don't want to share the uh, pdf of the case paper but i want to show you the that uh, case paper so how to how it is possible now is there not say that see this that is a legal document of our hospital so i cannot Correct. Send that document to you, but I okay. want to show you that document. How to do that? Tell me. Ah, do you have it in a photo form, ma'am, or is it in a PDF form? See, yeah, it is in the PDF form. Ah, so that can be shared again in the shared option, ma'am. Ah, uh, you can just if the slide show is not running, not necessary. Other things are not running, so that you Wait. can share. Wait. But first, let me share your PPT, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Can you see it? The case paper. Can you see? Yes. This is the PDF of the case paper. Yes, sir. Yeah, it is seen clearly. Seen. This yes. is this, this is you possible. can share from. This you can share from your side, ma'am. Other things I'll share from my side. From your side, no problem. Do it. Yes. Just, just give me one minute. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Are you sharing, Prajakta, from your side? Yes, yes. Just one minute. I'm just starting. हेलो हाँ बोलो हाँ हाँ बोलो तमन्ना बोलो ठीक है पेज किसका हम्म शेयरिंग में अच्छा ठीक है क्या कर सकते हैं कहा भेजा था इन्होंने अच्छा ठीक है देख सकते बाकी क्या हाँ कर दो ना डिस्चार्ज Can you see the screen? Yeah. Yeah. Now we can. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, 
डॉक्टर प्रियंका मैम शुड वी स्टार्ट ये झील ने इन्फॉर्म करना होता है ये चोरी को उनके रेसिडेंट ने आप क्यों बता रहे हो मैडम बात कर रहे हैं दो मिनट प्राजक्ता यू हैव शेयर द पी डी एफ दिस इज नॉट द पीपीटी Now the PPT is not opening. I tried it. It's not opening. It is not. But I still try. It is not getting downloaded, na? No, it is not getting downloaded. And then I'll have to uh, start from Gmail. And there, it, there, there would be lag when I'll be starting from the Gmail. No, it's okay. This is also so, good. Okay. Yeah, just, it's okay. Just fine. Just, no, you can carry on with this. No problem yes, at all. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, I, we will go with this. No problem. because yes. you know yes. ppt is just to you know theoretical part otherwise i'm so i i am uh, trying to explain you the things that is my basic actually intention for this lecture yes ma'am ma so shall we start now? then yeah yeah if uh, your quorum is 11 so we can start wait my i uh, actually my residents also want to attend let me put that the link on the group yes yes, yes. wait wait Mm. You you want the uh, the YouTube link uh, where the Zoom Zoom meeting link I should share, na? Yeah. Yes, the one which I shared you on email, ma'am. The same one you can follow. Now, my my laptop is open, so. Doctor Jalpa. Yes, ma'am. uh please give one reminder in on each group na yes ma'am yeah and dr nikita just one more thing i am staring at the screen at the presentation only so i won't be able to see other zoom things like chat and everything because now okay. my screen only the presentation is going on so you both have to coordinate okay okay Because I'm not able to see anyone, I'm just able to see the presentation. Because I'm sharing this. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, I'll do. Yeah. Ah, product. Just give give one for the link. Hello. Ah. Yes. Hello. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, I mean, who link share ki hai? They got join or join? Sab log join. For the recording purpose. Okay. Yes, Priyanka. Ha. Huh. For the recording purpose, just uh, give one call or something by uh, means if Jalpa can do this, Jalpa or Nikita. Ah, uh, the screen sharing, ma'am. Not for the screen sharing, for the recording, YouTube recording. YouTube recording, ma'am. Correct, correct. Yeah. Now we will start the YouTube recording, and you can start the webinar right now. Yes. Doctor Niketa, I think the YouTube recording has already started. Just start check now, because we checked uh, some time back; it had already started. Just check now. Okay, Doctor Pradeepta, we can start now. Yes, yes. Doctor Jalpa, will you do the honor? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. We start. A very good evening to everyone. I welcome you all this much awaited webinar of webinar series by Nima's OBGYN Center. Myself, Doctor Jalpa Patel, coordinating today's webinar along with Doctor Nikita Shantekar, ma'am. Now, before the starting of our session, I would uh, request everyone for the sake of Lord Dhanvantri blessings. Nama Vidhanvantri Madhavam, 
सुरासुरेवंतित पाद पद्मम लोके जरारूप भयम रोत्नाशन दातार मीशम पिविदाओ श्रीना May Lord Dhanvantari bless us with good health and success. On behalf of Nima Obijewa Central, mm-hmm. I welcome to all dignitaries mm-hmm. and delegates mm-hmm. for today's knowledge enhancing session on the topic of medical record documentation mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. best practice. First of all, I welcome Dr. Ashutosh Kulkarni Sir, President of Nima Central, U.S. Pandey Sir, Secretary of Nima Central. Uh, Dr. Shanti Lal Sharma, sir, president of Nima Center. Then I would like to welcome Dr. Kamini Diman, madam, president of Nima Obijiva Center. Dr. Priyanka Nakade, madam, secretary of Nima Obijiva Center. Dr. Vishnu Bhavne, sir, president of Nima Obijiva Center, and Dr. Rajesh Uthani, sir, convener of Nima Obijiva Center. I would also like to welcome Dr. Suhas Halekar, sir. President of Nima Obijiva Maharashtra, Dr. Manoj Gaikwad Sir, Secretary Nima Obijiva Maharashtra, and Dr. Ajay Raj Bal Sir, Treasurer Nima Obijiva Maharashtra. So before we go any further, let me give you a few instructions that are common for all the participants. Participants, please keep yourself muted during session. If your mic found like unmuted, disturbing. With speaker's voice, you will be either kept in waiting room or removed to maintain decorum of the program. If you have any questions, put your question in chat box or raise your hand. Now, I would like to brief everyone about Nima Obijiva agenda. Nima Obijiva is a uh, is National Integrated Medical Association Obstetrics and Gynecology Society of India. aims to impart education in supporting and protecting the character status and interest of the integrated medical profession in general practitioners and practitioners of prasuti tantra and stri roga that is integrated obstetrics and gynecology in india our object is to spread knowledge and to foster education in integrated obstetrics and gynecology including human reproduction family welfare study and research in the field of contraception and other allied problems nima obijiva is committed to promote services for betterment of health of community especially maternal and child health prevention of ailment and diseases that treatment along with integrated approach of indian medicine with modern science so with this let us continue with what we have come up today with you our 38th webinar of this series dear all as you know today's topic is medical record documentation best practice medical records are believed to be most vital resource that health workers use in the day, uh, day to day practice in the healthcare arena on other hand poor medical documentation practices affects both patient management and medical legal issues so we are here to explore mandatory criteria for proper medical record documentation today we are lucky to have here with us respected dr swati mohita madam she will ma'am will guide us through her novel thoughts regarding topics so we welcome you ma'am we are honored to have you with us and it is my pleasure to introduce you ma'am Dr Swati Mohiti madam is professor and HOD of department of PTSR at Bharti Ayurvedic College Pune ma'am is practicing as a consultant gynecologist since tw- uh, last 28 years ma'am has guided UG students since last last 20 years and PG students since last 25 years ma'am has published various international and uh, national research articles ma'am has given guest lecture at various national international conferences and cmes ma'am has facilitated with dhanvantri award by bedenar also ma'am is awarded with sanman puraskar by pune city dr cell and also ma'am is awarded with best teacher award by ayurveda teacher association 2022 ma'am have also done various awareness program regarding 
ब्रेस्ट एंड सर्विक्स कैंसर वुमन हेल्थ प्रोग्राम एडोलसन फेज अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम एनीमिया प्रिवेंशन डायट एंड लाइफ स्टाइल मोडिफिकेशन फॉर जेरियटिक पेशेंट्स so with due respect i would like to call upon dr swahiti uh, swati mohit madam to start a session on today's talk welcome ma'am yes hello good evening ma'am this is priyanka and i would like to convey my special thanks to swati mohit madam because uh, she is so busy but still she finds some time for us and highlighting such a uh, important subject that is a medical record documentation and for each and every person it is mandatory to know when a practitioner stands it stand it should be aware for her medical liabilities and its record documentation when and what we should write and how we should protect ourselves by medical legally so this is a very important topic and mm -hmm. madam had choice this is for you and i think each and everyone should get benefited with this so i request everyone to join this webinar mm -hmm. because this is very very important aspects of your practice and uh, madam is so senior and she is uh, having a, a very good knowledge of uh, obstetrics and the medical uh, liabilities and medical legal documentations so uh, i can uh, means request every one of you so please uh, get attached with this webinar and uh, take some uh, benefits from this and thank you so much ma'am for giving us your precious time for this webinar good evening all thank you jalpa and thank you prajakta thank you for your so kind introduction uh, actually uh, do you know why i uh, thought that i should talk on this uh, topic because last year i have attended a maternal death audit Okay. By Pune Municipal Corporation, hmm. and the both both mothers were registered at my hospital, and mm -hmm. they died at Sasun Hospital. But okay. as the ANC was done at our hospital, Bharti Ayurveda Hospital, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. asked us to send the send the all the case paper, uh, OPD okay. paper, mm -hmm. case paper, and I IPD case paper. and mm -hmm. there, there was there is a there was a committee of you know six doctors i think two gynecologists yeah. two physician two anesthetists general yeah. practitioners rmo and all so we sent the paper and at the end of both the meetings the comments were that we did not found any medical legal negligence in the management of these both the patients so you know nice. this is very important that and all were from the modern science no one from the ayurveda uh, ayurveda fraternity Correct. Correct. and i am supposed to present my uh, case in front of them whatever questions they were asking i am supposed to give them the answer one mid uh, that and that is actually you know if you are well prepared this this may come uh, you know in uh, in anybody's life in their practice uh, yeah. this is very important that you must understand the importance of medical documentation yes mm. next definitely definitely yes yeah see this is the actually uh, litigations in obstetric and gynecology practice can it be prevented a uh, a probability to possibility okay this is the 2016 uh, you know Uh, the research paper and it is mentioned that negligence was proved in 98 cases out of 347 cases that is in uh, 31.41 cases the negligence they recorded the negligence and you know when we are we are suppose we are uh, we can face the medico legal problems in you can read the red in that that post operative complications intra operative complications extension of surgery beyond consent and out of 235 cases uh, uh, cases on obstetrics tubectomy failure birth asphyxia traumatic injury to the newborn then uh, these are the common reasons for litigations so you must know that when to you know sometimes what happens we don't have the manpower to make the paper ready every time but whenever these kind of complications can uh, happens in your uh, you know practice you should immediately retrospectively correct your paper 
that means if there is a post operative complications like you know in some uh, pph is may, may be possible sometimes even post operative death is also possible because of pulmonary embolism sometimes convulsions are there so whenever there are post operative complications or intraoperative complications few few days back i think one month back we now we had a patient posted for you know laparoscopic cyst uh, uh, ovary dermoid cyst uh, removal and uh, patient after giving scolding the anesthetist failed to intubate the patient and that patient that we just stop the uh, procedure and we bring out that patient outside so you know this is post operative com uh, intraoperative complications so this is also possible in those cases you are supposed to immediately look into your paper make your paper very correct don't wait till the patient goes to the medical legal or litigation don't wait till that point so you should be very aware that which case can can go into a litigation or which case can sue us which in which case we can face the medical legal uh, problems so you must be very alert so what we do here in our hospital whenever we think that this case may be possible this 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 patient can uh, go file a medical legal complaint against us in immediately on the day of discharge on the day of complication we write the paper very correctly we ask our you know medical legal advisor to check our paper but you know now medical our medical legal advisor he is the medical legal advisor of government of maharashtra also okay now he he knows us so well so whenever we uh, we call him that sir uh, this uh, so and so happened we want to come to you and check the paper he always used to tell me mohit madam aap tumcha paper hai kya aapka paper hai kya don't come your paper is good so you know that much you know perfect you should be in your uh, record keeping now next what cases i have faced in my 30 years of career so in 2006 there was a case of intestinal of obstruction after laparoscopic hysterectomy don't think that the patient will uh, go into medical legal uh, case or patient will file file a case against you don't think uh, as a ayurved person don't think that way i have faced a problem that our nearby hospital bharti hospital also informed police that the death occurred in the ayurved hospital and police came to us even sasun if you refer the patient to you know government hospital they also can uh, you know inform the police that that medical legal case has happened in the ayurved hospital because they have some kind of you know negative minds about us even you know nearby gynecologist also can you know tell the patient that okay you, why you have went to the why you went to the ayurved gynecologist they are not capable they are not doing that they are not you know well qualified so they also ask the patient to go go and file the medical legal case so as an ayurved gynecologist you should be very careful for that and don't think that every time patient go will go against you think that anyone can go against you right from your the your, the the doctor A modern medicine doctor which is pra practicing just next door to your hospital so this is possible the second case i have faced in 2009 that and nay this intestinal obstruction case was we have shifted that case to bharti hospital and you know they asked the patient that uh, something wrong happened there then they asked who did the surgery then i we said that no modern science laparoscopic surgeon did the surgery then then they you know stop saying anything so this is this happens every time acute cardiac failure after cs of twin pregnancy that also i have faced the faced the patient that after uh, cesarean section of our twin pregnancy patient landed into acute cardiac failure and you know since then we always do cardiac to today go at 30 to 32 weeks of pregnancy from 2009 so now change your practice change uh, as you get experience change your protocols at your own so we are doing if, if the twin pregnancy is there we suggest the patient i suggest the patient that go and do the cardiac today go uh, at 30 to 32 weeks of pregnancy so if you 
diagnose it earlier, then you will you would not be able to face the problems. Then pulmonary, pulmonary embolism after cesarean section. I remember we shifted that patient to uh, Pune Hospital, and uh, that was preliminary diagnosed at our hospital, and we shifted that patient. That patient is live, but still we shifted that patient to. Uh, some other hospital higher setup. Then obstetric hysterectomy for ruptured uterus because of because of fundal pressure during conducting labor. So this also I have faced that uterus was ruptured after uh, during uh, you know delivery process. That was third para patient and uh, the because the resident was giving fundal pressure to help her and he gave so much hard fundal pressure that the uterus was ruptured. This case. Also, we have uh, it was happened in our hospital in 2018. Prenatal, perinatal, intrauterine death followed with cesarean section. So you know when these type of cases are happening in your hospital, you are supposed to concentrate on your case paper very well. Then, uh, well in advance, of course, in 22, 20, uh, 2022, perinatal, intrauterine death during normal vaginal delivery. That was the second para patient. This was the my this, this, these are my experiences about the complicated space cases. Next. Now these are the maternal deaths what I faced. Maternal death two months after tubectomy. And that death was because of meningitis, but still they asked every document from our hospital. When we did the tubectomy, OT record, then sterilization record, every everything they asked and they took everything from us. And that death was due to meningitis, not that is a post-operative complication. But still they asked whatever. So tubectomy uh, is a national program, MTP is a national program. So whenever these things are you are doing in your hospital, you should keep your records very well. Not only patients, patient case paper is important, but at that time, I remember for maternal, maternal death after tubectomy, they asked every OT record from our hospital. So keep those records also very correct. Do regularly, uh, you know, uh, swab and uh, swab of your OT. Uh, keep the record. Every weekly you do it and uh, keep the record very correctly. So maternal death after tubectomy, then death after hysterectomy. That also 2003 we faced. That patient did not uh, went against us. That, that was not a legal, uh, medical legal case, but still that was happened in our hospital. Then maternal death after third labor. So I remember that case also. And that case, you know, Bharti hospital uh, people, they informed the police at Bharti Hospital, that maternal death was occur occurred in the Bharti Ayurveda Hospital because after having PPH, we took that patient to the ICU of Bharti Hospital and they mentioned that as uh, broad dead patient. And then we have to face the uh, face that uh, patient. Uh, police come to our hospital, they ask the paper, and you know that death happened around 5, 5.50, 5 uh, 5.30. 5 and police came to our hospital around 7 o'clock and they asked for the paper because FIR was written by the Bharti hospital. So this is possible that you can face the problems uh, like this. Then maternal death by PMC or audit for maternal death of tuboplasty in 2019. We did the tuboplasty in 2019. That patient had uh, two children. Uh, first was, I, I don't know, that was her second marriage. And she demanded for tuboplasty. We did tuboplasty in 2019. And then that patient died in 2021 be, uh, during uh, six months of pregnancy uh, because of uh, rheumatic heart disease. And they asked for every paper uh, from 2019 also and 2021 also. Now in 2023, a maternal death audit by PMC for PIH patient. So this two death, death audit I attended. So this is my clinical, my, this is my experience for, you know, medical, medical legal cases and the death audit. Next. Now, what is medical record? Medical record documentation is an instrument which helps the healthcare staff to record all information about patients, health status and the procedures provided by the hospital staff. So the record keeping and documentation is very important uh, because it will not only 
keep you safe but it will teach you also it it will teach your residents it will teach your staff and everyone so medical records are very important next so what do you mean by best practice best, pra best practice should be implemented to improve individual patients health outcome this is not for only medical legal practice but if you are you if you are uh, doing a best practice that will improve the health outcome of patient also the ever overall quality of health care and to strengthen the health system at large best practices comprises recent relevant helpful nursing practices methods interventions procedures or techniques based on high quality evidence so always remember that you should update you yourself with the recent practices so you know as gi guidelines as foxy guidelines you must go through the gi guidelines you must go through the uh, you know uh, foxy guidelines because few few years back we had uh, uh, the charity commission uh, you know sent us a summons regarding that after cesarean section we just uh, keep the patient without uh, you know uh without informing anything to her for 10 days and the uh, charity commission sent us the summon and that case was and what references they gave us they gave us the reference of foxy that foxy after cesarean section foxy guidelines are that that only 3 days admission is necessary after cesarean section only 24 hours to 40 48 hours uh, admission is essential for after the normal delivery so you must have the recent knowledge of you know foxy gi guidelines and all so this is very important that uh, when you are practicing so we received the summon from charity commission of pune that was not the case that we kept the patient because he was not able to uh, you know pay the bills of the hospital and you know that time also i remember that every day after discharging her every day we wrote the discharge on the paper and they denied the discharge and because of that correct paper we did not find any problems about that patient also so always keep yourself very updated try to read the research paper try to read the guidelines of the foxy and all to uh, you know to have a best practice next now see this is very very important if it isn't doc it is not documented it has not been done just remember this sentence if it is not documented it hasn't been done is and saying that is frequently heard in the healthcare setting uh, it, i it, ignorance of law is no excuse remember this both the sentences even if you make the mistake even if you make the mistake don't document it document paper very correctly this is very bold statement from my side but yes it is very important that even if you make some mistakes remember that avoid documenting it okay sometimes this happens ki we we tend to write ki patient is very arrogant and he is the patient is not cooperating don't document it don't document बी पेशेंट जो भी आपको लगता है कि ये अगेंस्ट जाएगा या फिर ये रेसिडेंट के बारे में हम लोग कुछ दो सेंटेंस उसके ऊपर लिखते हैं डोंट राइट इट डोंट डॉक्यूमेंट इट इफ यू डॉक्यूमेंट इट दैट कैन क्रिएट अ प्रॉब्लम इवन इफ यू नो आफ्टर सम यू नो पीरियड टू डेज थ्री डेज यू फाइंड दैट अरे समथिंग वेंट रॉन्ग आई मिस दिस एंड नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ दिस दिस हैपन then change your document change the paper but if it is not documented legally always remember that your paper speaks you are not supposed to attend the hearing sometimes it is necessary but every time always remember that your paper speaks loudly and if your paper is correct then your legal advisor can protect you so always remember this before delivering this lecture you know i called our medical legal advisor that sir i am not expert in uh, you know uh, 
um, I'm not a medical legal advisor. I'm not uh, having any legal knowledge. So is it, can I deliver a lecture, deliver a lecture on this topic? So he, he told me that, ma'am, don't worry. We are just defending you, but you are the, you are the people who are actually writing the paper. So you are the right person to guide your, you know, colleagues, guide your student. So before preparing this PPT, I discussed with my medical legal advisor also. Next. Yeah. What is medical record? Medical record are the documents that explains all detail about the patient's history. So this is very important that you are supposed to write very detailed history of the patient. Don't miss it. Don't miss a single thing on your paper. Write everything. That can help you. I remember a case that uh, patients uh, in one case in Delhi, the patient uh, was landed into septicemia and uh, the record was showing that there were plenty of visitors to that patient after hysterectomy. And that sentence of record in the, you know, that guard's book that we are denying uh, visit visitors, but still they are visiting continuously. That record saved that gynecologist from, you know, compensation. So, which record will help you? I don't know. Even we don't know. So, you are supposed to take the history also in detail. Write every clinical finding. Patient is sitting in front of you and patient is not telling you that her eyes are red. You are able to see the eyes are, you are able to see the, that the eyes are red. Now, write it down on the paper. There is uh, swelling on the lip. Patient will not tell you that there is swelling on the lip. You write it down on the paper. So write every finding on the paper. Don't hesitate. Whenever you are a patient is sitting in front of you, write everything. I will show my papers also in next slides. Di diagnostic test, test results. That is very, very important that you are supposed to write it uh, on the paper. Few days back, there was a case in our hospital. After doing uh, NST, we sent the patient to... Uh, uh, we sent the patient and there was only two, three uh, spikes above 160, heart rate above 160. Patient took that uh, NST and uh, after, you know, after he did in a very next day, patient came to our hospital and we did the section and the baby passed the meconium, the, the like was thick meconium. Then that there was aspiration pneumonia and that patient argued with us that why you did not uh, do caesarean section one day prior as there was two spikes because that report was with the pa with the patient but the evening report next day morning report were with us so you know keeping the records keeping the diagnostic test result with you on the paper and now we have changed the NST also. So we have every record. But keep this, these records with you. Write it down on the paper. That baseline heart rate of that NST is 140, 130. Then two side that those two spikes will not, you know, uh, create problem for you. Then pre and post operative care. That is very, very important. Pre operative and post operative care. And then patients pro progress and medication. Next. Now, what are the objectives? Monitoring of the actual patient. This is the main objective. You know, medical legal case is the last objective. But first, monitoring the actual patient. If, if you are writing the paper, that means you are actually monitoring the patient. You know, uh, repeatedly writing, uh, you know, manipulating is not possible. If you are manipulating the paper and you are writing every 10 minutes, uh, you know, observation, this is never possible. So if you are monitoring the patient, you will write it down on the paper. If you are not monitoring the patient, you will not write it down on the paper. Then uh, this medical record may be useful for your medical research. Sometimes medical and dental and paramedical education for insurance cases, personal injury suits, for malpractice suits, for medical audit and statistical audits. Next. Now, what is the importance? Past medical history and present condition, communication tool for healthcare team, legal documentation, patient education, quality control and research and documentation for filling and coding. Next. Now, when the medical record can be used? So, for the patient care. Patient's record provides 
the documented basis for planning patient care and treatment. So medical record is used for the patient care. Then it is used for the communication. It is used for the communication to patients record are an important means by which physician, nurse and other communicate with one another about patient needs. You know, sometimes duty changes. If you are not writing clearly, you are giving oral, oral antibiotic or IV antibiotic. So duties are changing. So how they, they will understand what is the uh, what to do for the patient. Even residents' duty are duties are also changing. So this is medical records are for the communication. Communication about the patient between all healthcare people, right from doctors, residents, and nurses. Correct. So this is used for the communication. Then this is also a legal legal documentation. Documentation. A patient's record becomes a legal document to that patient's health and care. So legal documents don't think that whatever we are having, our case paper is a legal document. Don't think that. Whatever you are giving to the patient, that is also a legal document. Means right from the pre prescription. So if you are giving resting, if you are giving cetrizine, so write down on the paper. Even if you are giving, you know, tribun kirti, simple drug like tribun kirti, write it down. That if you are if you are having, uh, you know, stomatitis, mukhapak apko agar khana khane me jalan hoti hai, to ap immediately aajo tribun kirti dene ke baad me write it down on the paper. Otherwise, patients continuously take it. Patient develops stomatitis and then patient comes after few days. So not for only modern medicine, for Ayurvedic medicine also, we should follow that whatever legal document, legal document is the document, whatever the document is signed by the doctor. Because prescription is also signed by the doctor. Whether it is with the patient or with the hospital, both are legal documents. So the patient's record become a legal document to, the, to that patient's health and care. So legal document, both the documents. Next. Now see, this is the communication of the what we uh, we did. This is uh, this is for the patient. You know, uh, this is the communication. Communication means we told everything to the patient, and we have write it down on the paper. I remember these cases of the uh, you know GDM, and uh, we planned a section just three weeks early because of polyadrenalis and huge baby, but. Because of lung maturity, we planned her to give, you know, DEXA. She was on insulin and oral hypoglycemic agents also. But thinking of the benefits, we wrote everything on the paper. This is the communication that this, uh, this is the, that injection DEXA is essential for the baby, even if it will increase your blood sugar level and everything. And always remember, write it down in the patient's language. And see the end that who, who have signed that the doctor who wrote, who wrote that Dr. Jill, the consent written by Dr. Jill, her sign is there, then patient signature there and relative signature is also there. So this is really important. This is very important that the resident sign is there, patient sign is there, relative sign is there. Always remember, your document will be should be very, very clear that whenever you are writing on the uh, taking the, uh, you know, communication with the patient through the, you know, this is a type of consent, but this is also communication to the patient. Patient is understanding what, what risks they can, they can face. What are the benefits of that? So this is very important. Only writing this is not sufficient. This, the, this part is very, very important. This writing is okay. See, the date is there. The time is there. And at the end, see all investigations, whatever is written are there. And the end is covered with the sign of the doctor who wrote this and the uh, to whom she explained this. Next slide. Now, use of medical record again, billing or uh, billing and reimbursement. A patient's record provides documentation of what the patient has paid and what insurance has paid and what services were rendered. So this is also very important that for uh, this medical record is used for the reimbursement also. So for that, you have to keep your record very correct because, you know, whatever we are using in the operation theater, whatever we are using in the labor room, that record should be very clear because some, sometimes what, what happens, patient 
we gave the uh, gave the you know the list of the medicines list list of the threads you use syringes and gloves and everything i remember once happened that patient asked us that you show us whatever record you are keeping at your hospital when you are conducting a normal delivery because patient came full dilate and we did the delivery and the lambi chaudi list was given to the patient then the patient asked us that show us what a, what is your document of you know keeping the record uh, uh, regarding what you used during the labor and you know sometimes we need to go to back foot also then i asked the patient no no uh, by mistake we give this uh, this much list to you uh, as patient uh, you know because iv pints has been written pitocin was given and so so on so many medicines were written on the on that prescription then i sometimes we have to go back foot also i i, I just uh, you know apologized and i asked him that no no this is this is given by mistake because they they know that patient came full dilate and within 5 minutes she delivered so billing purpose also you need medical record then research and quality management for research also you need record and for quality management quality management is very important whatever mistakes you are making in your one paper the same mistake should not be repeated in the next paper so this is the quality management next now what should be the components of the medical record the patient's demographics such as height age ethnicity gender weight etc i would like to share my experience about weight of the patient in i think 2015 or 16 i got a call from pune municipal corporation that there was there there was a death of a uh, there, there was a maternal death in sasun hospital and uh, that death was she did a suicidal attempt she burned uh, herself and she died but for first at the time of first three months first uh, eight weeks she registered at our hospital and uh, then she uh, she attempted the suicide but they asked what was the weight at the time of registration to your hospital see this is and you know we we were not able to recall the patient and all because, and you know they, the weight mentioned on that paper we just informed the, the, the weight since then we asked our resident that the resident even if interns are taking the weight resident should see the weight and if the weight difference is more than 2 kg for uh, you know for shorter duration go see the weight again and again check the weight so after that experience we are keeping maternal weight very correctly because we they asked us the weight only weight of the patient at 8 weeks of pregnancy i remember that was december december 2015 or 2016 i don't remember the, the year but december i remember so keeping weight of maternal uh, you know mother mother is very important a list of medications prescribed to the patient their dosage and how often they should be taken that is also very important that list of the medication prescribed just now i told you that whatever prescription you are giving that is also a medical record whether it is carried by the patient then treatment and diagnosis received by the patient previously previously and their medical history that is also very important today yesterday we had a patient of missed abortion admitted in our hospital for last two days and we uh, for the urinary tract infor, uh, urinary tract infection uh, and uh, the patient aborted in the you know the uh, we have we get the report of sonography that there is missed abortion now we have to think that we we should patient will ask you ki hum log to do din yahan par admit the hamara 15 din ke baad ka to report ekdam acha tha no 8 weeks pregnancy the pregnancy 6 weeks pregnancy the pregnancy was normal what you did in the ward that today's report is showing that there is missed abortion now you have to face the problem so we asked her what she took the medicine one month back at one hospital she got admitted 
we ask the patient to uh, to you know go there and ask them what they uh, gave her injections and all so you have to face all these problems so you should be very very keen that what patient had taken before also because pregnancy is always a very you know a sensitive issue in the family so treatment and diagnosis is issued by the patient previously and their medical history you should note it down very care, care, carefully a detailed list of vaccination given to date that is also very important next now history of illness allergies to the food now i am having a patient in the ward that uh, she had history of given scolding because she is working she is nurse and she knows what happened she was admitted in the hospital in icu because she is telling us that uh, the doctor by mistake gave her scolding after cesarean section so the history of illness that is very important and she told us that doctor definitely gave me the scolding after cesarean section so we have you have to note it down you have to write it down on the you know your anc card your uh, opd paper even uh, every time you are supposed to tell your resident are ye patient dhyan mein rakho iske aisi history hai kyunki we will not be there for 24 hours but residents will be there for 24 hours loudly and very you know precisely you tell every resident your uh, your doctors that this patient is having this history and this is uh, this is possible so the history of illness allergies of food medicines things and other substances with both prescribed and non prescribed medicines so that is very important that it it, it, should, it should be written on the uh, on your paper a list of patients previous lab test results that is also very important but of course 10 years back test reports will not be relevant for today's you know illness so you know logically you think which previous lab reports are important and which are not important because history of 2 years back tubal block and patient is there in your hospital with 6 months pregnancy it is irrelevant to write the history of 2 years tubal block report so what is what to be written and what no be what not to be written is has to be taken care by the residents and you know the treating doctor any previous immunization received a history of previous hospitalization and surgery is also detailed information on medical insurance and billing next yes uh jalpa or prajata please show me the first slide previous slide yes so component of the medical record yes next just last week this happened in our hospital you can see the date 7923 every record whatever you are doing in the hospital that should be detailed explained to the patient this patient i remember that this is the primary we did her cesarean section you know and due to pph we put the billing and uh, i explained everything to the patient so explaining the patient and keeping the record is very important try to explain the patient like this always and keep the record and you know to whom you explain that you are supposed to write it next yeah see this is a, this the sequence is little bit changed now see this is the case paper registration number name age here age for maternal you know for for mother always remember that write the age by checking the aadhar card always remember because nowadays legally if the anc registered at your, your hospital and having the age 17 we are supposed to you know inform the police nearby police station we have to inform them fir first information report if her age is less than 18 and you know you are not supposed to do anything at your hospital you are you are we are supposed to inform the police and try to send that patient to the government hospital even if the patient is married till we are not allowed to you know do the uh, 
you know, season and section or normal delivery, we have to inform to the. So every time check the age with the Aadhaar card. Okay. Now, who is just go about? History is taken, taken by whom? Just go, go. No, no, no. I want to see the paper. I want to see the paper. Yes, yes. Go down, go down. Yes. So bilateral. You just short the, make the short, make its uh, size minimum. Yes. Yes. Thank you. See, the date is there. The time when the first person saw the patient. This is some doctor at 21.45 p.m. This patient is seen as, why? I will explain you why this, everything is important. This is the same time when patient is, patient came to your, you know, OPD. But see, at the end, my sign is there, 4, 10, 21. I saw the patient at 2.45 p.m. Okay. Now, this gap is, if this gap is there, even it is okay, but when you have evaluated the paper, that is very important. When the actually treating doctor saw the patient, that date and time is very important. S N D T sign, name, date, and time. S N D T. Always remember, you should write it. And follow up of the patient is also very important. That by with this report, you are asking the patient that come tomorrow with all reports. Don't write uh, uh, come tomorrow after all reports and if the reports are normal, come on 21, 10, 20, 21. Whatever your instruction, that all should be written on the paper. So what, what patient is taking, what we advised. So well, DIPC is not done. Then what we advised. What is the per abdominal examination? What is not there that is also to be written? No pedal edema because patient is complaining of pedal edema. So what is not there that is also that should be written on the paper? Because patient tells you that nahi, nahi, I thi pedal edema ke liye mere pair pair sujanti. next time patient comes to your clinic nahi, but still uh, pedal edema and there and you find that there is hypertension. Correct? So if pedal edema is not there, write it down that pedal edema is not there. So you should write your paper. The mobile number is there. This is very basic. You may be uh, practicing in advanced way, but all these things are very important. Who saw the patient? See, this is senior resident saw the patient. See, this is the junior resident saw the patient. Dr. Sarika, senior resident, designation of the patient, that paper, that resident is very important. That first Junior resident saw the patient, then senior resident saw the patient, then the faculty saw the patient. Multiple doctors attended the patient. That paper stands very correctly medically. Only one doctor is seeing the patient daily, two times, three times, four times a day. Always remember that is not that paper will not stand med medical legally correct. If multiple doctors are Dr. Siddhali, Dr. Sarika, Dr. Moite, they all have seen the patient is the correct patient paper which will stand, which will give you a medical legal protection. Next. Now, sometimes this is possible, altering the medical records. While writing the medical notes, as far as possible, do not overwrite. Avoid overwriting. If you want, if the change is needed, strike the whole sentence and write it down again. But do not, you know, overwrite. Just don't do that. Just write a plain, uh, you know, line and write it, write the sentence again. Do not leave ambiguity. ambiguity. Make a habit of signing if change is made. That is very important. If you are changing the notes, you are changing it, make a habit that whenever you are changing the, you know, treatment or any protocol or any instruction, make a sign. Then preferably put the date and time below the signature. I already told you. Remember S N D T. Next. Now entries in the medical record should be made on every line. Skipping lines leave the room for tampering with the records. Always remember, if you are writing a case paper, if you are, if you, if the patient is admitted in the in the hospital, 
the full uh, continuation sheet is there half paper is filled half on the half uh, part of the uh, continuation sheet you wrote the round and the half paper is left as it is and on the next continuation sheet the next round is uh, written don't do that continuously you are supposed to write the rounds otherwise if this if you send this paper this is a this this paper medically legally it is called as the this paper is tempered this paper is manipulated so don't do that continuously you write it down even if you are you know altering the paper you are discarding the two papers and writing the new paper putting that new paper in the you know in your case paper but still follow the same thing then correction of the personal identification data of the patient like name age father husband and address should only be made on the basis of attested affidavit this is very important uh, last week we were we were having a patient uh, her name her surname was khan written on the paper but actually she was married to a uh, you know non muslim boy and there was a you know dispute that they want the name of the baby on the you know uh, that baby's father's name and all so we did everything affidavit and attested always remember whenever you find that are age mein kuch gadbad rakhti hai naam mein kuch gadbadi lagti hai so always remember wait for two days don't hurry for everything don't you know humko lagta hai mera patient chala jayega chala gaya to chala jata hai to hamare acche ke liye chala jata hai always remember to wait postpone the surgery wait for the surgery only emergency okay in, in emergency you can do everything but plan mtp hai and you don't have the aadhar card of the patient don't do the mtp if tubectomy is there if you know plan cases plan cases check your checklist and do everything very correct and so this is very important that you should uh, you know correct of the person, uh, personal identification data this is very important next slide okay now care while issuing certain medical records first prescription very important patient's name age sex address and institution hospital name prescribed drug should be preferably by in capital letter dose frequency duration in days and total quantity next slide see this this is the prescription name date age gender weight okay opd ipd number the name of the drug when to take timing is also mentioned duration is mentioned and who wrote the prescription that is also mentioned the name of the doctor and sndt correct full sndt sign name date and time so this is also very important you have you are as ayurved you know if you are writing ayurved prescription write the vehicle also next now reports all reports that is lab investigation x ray report ultrasound report computed ct scan mri reports and histopathological pathological reports should be issued by a qualified person that is very important even if you know many times we are getting the reports which are done you know at uh, you know corporation uh, you know nurses they uh, they go there and do the hemoglobin report and they write it on the sheet and they give to the patient that yes your hemoglobin is done and now go and uh, show your uh, show your doctor don't accept those records it should be signed accept the records which are signed by the qualified person so if they have that kind of record repeat it convince the patient that it should be because many times this happens with the you know uh, pmc uh, Uh, corporation hospital that sometimes the blood group is different sometimes hemoglobin is very low and they are doing on some strip and the hemoglobin level is they are writing high hemoglobin level actual the hemoglobin level is very less so always accept the reports of the patients also which are issued by the qualified person next now the referral note always keep the carbon copy of referral note especially in case of critical illness critically ill patient 
referral note should mean, mention the date and time of writing the note. Also write the treatment given. Next. Then you have to keep few hard copies, not always soft copy. Few hard copies should be kept. You can scan and make it a soft copy, but prepare a hard copy, duly signed. Consent need to be on the hard copy because it should be written in the language of the patient which he or she is and she understands. So consent need to be on the hard copy. Referral to doctor need hard copy. Police case need hard copy. Certificate of fitness should be on the hard copy. Next. Now these are the three, you know, uh, hard copies. This, these are to show you that we referred the patient to Bharti Hospital. See, this is my sign. Then this is sign of my resident. Here you can see this is the referral sheet. Correct. Now this is the referral sheet, but here you can see who received the patient. So whenever you are handing over the patient to other hospital, always remember that you should take the, the sign of the person who received the uh, patient. Because we... Uh, when we shifted that, you know, uh, rheumatic heart disease patient with uh, pregnancy to Sasun Hospital, we have the, the, the patient was in good, very good condition. We shifted that patient. The death occurred after, you know, uh, six weeks after shifting the patient to Sasun Hospital. But we were having the condition of the patient on our paper and the resident uh, signature that who received the patient. Because that was also asked during that, uh, you know, death audit, that uh, what, what was the condition of the patient when you shifted that patient to the Sasun hospital? Do you have some record regarding that? And we were having the record and the sign of the resident when we shifted that patient, handed over that patient to OBGY department of Sasun hospital. And that scanned copy, they asked me. And then we, we were having the scan copy of that. We sent that scan. We have we were having the hard copy of that. And we sent the scan copy to them after the, uh, you know, audit. So this is very important that whenever you are, uh, you are referring the patient, whatever the condition of the patient, when you are handing over the patient to other hospital, that is very important. And along with that, always remember, whenever you are shifting the patient from your hospital to other hospital, send some resident with the patient or call the ambulance with a doctor when the patient is very critical because this is possible this this can happen because you know sometimes this happened that when we reject a patient from our hospital yeah yeah this patient is not registered at our hospital and patient is a, is in labor pain and you are seeing the patient in the ward or outside the you know in the ambulance in the rickshaw and you are saying that, no, no, this patient is not uh, admitted, uh, registered at our hospital. Don't bring to our hospital. Our hospital policy is that, that uh, we will not accept the patient. We are not registered at our hospital. Don't do that. At least for the labor patient, don't do that. They're in the rickshaw. They're in the ambulance. Go and do the parvajanal examination. If the patient is in labor and about to labor, attend the patient, they're in the rickshaw or in the ambulance. Don't refer the patient. That, that become a medical legal case from the PNC. Or even the patient can go to nearby police station and they can ask that the our patient is delivered in the rickshaw and we went to Ayurveda hospital. They rejected because the, the patient is not registered in their hospital. Whether that I, I remember I have done almost three to four cases in my career which are HIV, which were HIV positive. There is no option. Patient came to her. I remember that Nepali patient was there. She came to our hospital full dilated. And, you know, the patient know, were knowing that uh, her mother was knowing that the patient, she, her daughter is HIV positive. She hid everything, hid everything from us. And we took the patient. We delivered the patient. So whenever unregistered patient is there, don't reject the patient, attend the patient by taking adequate care. Wear two gloves, wear PP kit, but don't reject the patient. Do the pervajaral examination and then send the patient. Yes, next slide. Now, this is also a hard copy of the consent. So, you can see. See here, 
why I, I took this disease. The, yeah, see, you can see the, um, you know, whatever we are writing here, patient's husband sign is there. This is the case with which I have faced uh, in uh, maternal death. Now, next, uh, in the case, where I'm, I'm going to show you the case paper also. Here, they have signed, correct, on 4, 12, and 21. They signed the paper, the Tanaji uh, Marathe, the husband of the paper. He signed the paper, but when patient was very critical, they rejected the sign. And we mentioned on the paper that relatives rejected the sign. That, pa that paper also I'm going to show you. And so this is very, so they here we advise the BP monitoring at nearby hospital, everything, whatever you are talking with the paper, write it on the paper and take the sign of the uh, relative. Next. Now the consent and informed consent. Always remember, consent may be printed, may be of the standard form. Your hospital may have the standard form of consent. This is possible, but informed consent never have the standard format. Informed consent should be the consent which is telling the actual con present condition of the patient to the relative, to the patient and to everyone. I remember when a uh, few years back when I was doing, you know, endometrial biopsy and uh, because of, uh, you know, uh, there was, you know, uh, rust in the, at the end of that, uh, you know, serrations and that biopsy point, this much portion cracked and remained inside the uterus. What you are supposed to do? I tried to remove that with the artery forcep. I tried to remove that because patient was under GA appointment. I was doing the endometrial biopsy. But I have to inform the patient that this much portion, metal portion is remained in your uterus and which is which is because of it is a blind procedure I am not able to remove it I have to go and I have to tell the patient that this this is happened this is not a, you know deliberate mistake this is a bad luck of from my side also and from the patient side and you know many things happen but that is the informed consent that whatever happened even I remember while doing uh, DN, uh, DNC I perforated the patient, MTP. I perforated the patient and my luck was good that we were doing TL also on, in the same patient and we found when I was doing MTP, I understood that I perforated the coronal end, correct? And then we opened the patient, we did the tubectomy, we you the, sutured the coronal, coronal end, the bleeding was near, but after coming out, I explained everything to the patient and since then, since then, I am writing that perforation on every patient, on every MTP, DNC, DNE patient. I write it down on the paper that perforation is the rarest complication which can happen when we are doing this kind of blind procedure. So this can happen in my 30 years of practice. I have observed these two or three in two or three patients. It is the rarest rare complications, but still it can happen. In my 30 years practice, I have done twice obstetric hysterectomy in the patients. I have seen in one, one of my patients and one of other unit patients. But as a HOD, I have to attend uh, whatever complications are happening in the department. I witness two obstetric hysterectomy, one of queen patient and one of norm first, you know, second para, uh, second, second season in section. So since then, I am writing on every paper that if uterus is not getting contracted, the obstetric hysterectomy is, uh, can, uh, can be done in your patient. It is a rarest rare complication. Uh, one complication, uh, one patient in one core patient, but as a doctor, I am supposed to explain you everything. You know, my resident knows that every time for the uh, for the perforation and for obstetric, uh, you know, hysterectomy, I every time I explain that, that to patient. So consent and informed consent, these are the two different things. So previously I showed you that uh, for the B-Lynch, I explained everything because you never know that 
patient will go into PPH and you will require to do go, go for B lynch. You never know. So the consent and the informed consent, they, they are two different things. So both are separated and distinct consent. Consent is generally recognized as a patient signing a name, name to the form or verbally agreeing to treatment plan or a procedure. Informed consent is a communication process that leads to shared decision. So today morning we did a one uh, that missed abortion patients uh, DNA, but at that time I explained them that histopath is if histopath can be done to see whether whatever conceptus we removed whether that is uh, you know fetus or not embryo or not the histopath can guide us if you want to do it we will go for the histopath that will increase your 1000 or 1500 rupees but it is necessary it may not be necessary as a doctor it is not necessary because this is the first uh, missed abortion so you know you have to put both the things in front of the patient and let the patient take the decision whether they want to go for this or not so and help them to, to make a decision that is also very important otherwise we are keeping them we are putting them in in the dilemma so making by the physician you you give their op your opinion and ask them take the decision and write it down that i have uh, write it down on the paper that both options has been given and patient opted for this and this option so physicians are required to obtain informed consent from patient prior to the treatment that is also very important next now how many how many consents we are taking at our hospital we are taking consent for uttar basti matra basti amagarbha basti Pichu also every time because I have seen uh, even I missed here Dupan consent also we are taking because I have seen the patient collapsed after giving the Dupan. So even you know vaso, 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 uh, shock you know hypotension or uh, you know ut after Uttar Basti I have seen that. So this is possible. So take the consent of Uttar Basti, Matra Basti, Amagar Basti, Dupan also. So high risk consent to every hospital have vulnerable patient consent, survey prime induction consent, augmentation consent, PIH consent, GDM consent, HBSCG positive patients consent, intrauterine growth, growth retardation, then pre-anesthetic and post-anesthetic evaluation, informed consent for anesthesia, OT consent and bedside procedure. So these maximum consent try to take maximum consent so that uh, there should not be any loophole that okay we did not we don't know about this and about that so this is very important so this much and many more but these are the examples few examples which we are taking consents in our hospital next now informed consents accommodates both patient autonomy and the physician's responsibility benefits of the treatment risk of the treatment, alternatives for the treatment or risk of the treatment or no treatment, documentation, signature and always remember patient, doctor and the last point is very important that is witness. Patient, doctor and witness. In front of whom you are explaining this? Patient is there, doctor is there Resident, don't write resident name. Name, Take the other patient's relative, your maushi, mama or someone else who could be the witness in front whom you are explaining everything to the patient. To examine, treat a patient without consent is assault in law even if it is beneficial and done in good faith. See, many times what we do, we uh, do, you know, patient is having cervicitis and we tend to take the photo of, you know, cervix, red cervix, should to show the cervicitis. But always explain the patient. Try to take the consent before taking the photo of that cervix. So this is very important, important. That is informed consent. Next. See, this is the cerebrime consent, what we write on the paper. The detailed consent. Amchi rugna so, so and so. Correct. This is the sign of the patient. 
this is the sign of the uh, husband of the patient this is the sign uh, who wrote the consent dr madhuri and dr madhuri signature is here this is the consent for this is the high risk consent next now always remember treating patient is a collective effort don't think that i am gynecologist i know everything in initial slides only i told you that the patient seen by multiple doctors always stands correct if patient goes legal in legal uh, matters so this is the physician opinion in even physician opinion check every time that physician signature is there date and time is there who saw the patient what is written on the paper this is you know just make it more clear ha yeah see you can write you can see uh, uh, can give dexa to the uh, to the physician for risk versus benefit you can read this word risk versus benefit this is written by the physician that what is the risk patient is having gdm we want to give dexa dexa will increase her uh, blood sugar levels but the risk is to increase blood sugar level but the benefit is for the future of the that fetus so write it down everything on the paper just this is few days back 14 823 last month's consent 345 can you see the risk over versus benefit and monitor the admit that the patient monitor the blood sugar level and keep the record that okay for some time the sugar level is increased but it is beneficial to the uh, fetus next now monitoring record this is also one very important document you should have with you see this is yes little bit yeah yeah thank you thank you thank you this is a uh, you know uh, monitoring of patient given opd level hormone or alamine iv amino acids cbp at 2 pm we started hormone then at 2:33 3:34 4:30 4 nothing happened when the hormone is given correct to 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 five then patient went to home so this record the consent the above you know the explained we explained everything to the patient this is the consent relatives uh, relative signature patient signature then the doctor signature and this is the record of monitoring this is very important if you have this if after 530 something happened to the patient we are not responsible when patient left the hospital at 5 o'clock the bp pulse everything was normal fetal heart sound was normal fetal movements were normal and hormone was completed so monitoring record you must have with you every time you know it takes it, it, make it a habit that everything should be recorded on the, on our paper okay next slide this is again this is one more Uh, you know record amagarbhavasti that is you know egg enema for intrauterine growth retardation we give egg enema so this before amagarbhavasti the the bp pulse fetal heart sound everything is there and after amagarbhavasti everything is there correct so this is the recording of amagarbhavasti before tree, before giving amagarbhavasti and after giving our amagarbhavasti always remember this is the record should be there everything is there because this is opd uh, procedure so it is it is recorded on the opd paper next now what is what are the legal aspects police authorities and court can summon medical record under the due process of law limitation period for filing a case paper is maximum up to 3 years under Im limitation act according to the consumer protection act it is up to 2 years next now what are the guidelines of medical uh, or as i told you in previously that always update your knowledge try to try to read the latest guidelines so these are the guidelines of 2022 medical council of india regulations even if we are ayurved people these 
are bounded for us also. So Medical Council of India Regulations 2022 Guidelines on Maintaining Medical Record in a Standard Prescribed Format for three years from commencement of treatment. Then request for a medical record by patient or authorized attendance to be acknowledged and documented issued within 72 hours. So even if you want to alter the record after you get demand from the patient, you get 72 hours to alter the record. So uh, even if you are not maintaining the records, so you can show these guidelines to the patient. The patient, patient is coming to your clinic and he's telling you, no, no, we want our paper immediately. You can show them that these are the government guidelines. These are our govern, governing body guidelines that after your application, we are supposed to give you the record within next 72 hours. Please come after 72 hours. So when they are writing you the you know, request that they want a medical record, while receiving it, write it down that you received this, you know, received this uh, application on suppose 23, 9, 23 at 7 p.m. Count 72 hours and exact after 72 hours ask the patient to collect, to come and collect the record. So you get time to, you know, modify the record for 72 hours. Now maintain a register of certificates with a full details of medical certificates issued with at least one identification mark of the patient and his signature. Next. And efforts should be made to computerize medical record for quick retrieval. retrieval. You know, you can make a soft copy of every record and keep it with you. Then medical legal cases should be maintained until the final disposal of the case, even though only. Next. Yes. So before uh, QA, I would I, I want to show you the uh, record of the patient, which I have faced a you know uh, audit. So I will share my screen. Uh, Prajakta. Yes, ma'am. Yes. I'll stop my sharing. I will share my screen now. So you stop sharing. Yes. I've stopped, ma'am. You can yes. start sharing. Wait, wait. I will share my screen. Yes. Can you see? Yeah, it is loading. Yes, we can yes, see now. Yes, yes. So this is the uh, pay, the, this is the record of the patient. In 2019, we did her tuboplasty. So this is the record of the patient. See, everything is written on the paper. We the same scan copy we send to the PMC. Correct, willing for pregnancy, willing for tubic, tuboplasty. Only one thing was not mentioned, which we added when they asked for the patient that I, I want to show you. See, everything is no fresh complaint, COVID-19 PCR done, awaited. And you know, during that period, actually this is, uh, you know, 21. So we did not took the physician fitness, only anesthetist fitness was there. And, uh, you know, ECG was normal, but, you know, we did not do her today. So anesthetist fitness was there. So only anesthetist has not written on the paper that uh, the ECG is normal. That only line we put when we, before sending the patient, this paper to, you know, uh, to PMC. Only that sentence was missing that we added. I will show you. See, this is the paper. See, this, this is wrong. So leaving the space like this is wrong. You have to always put a line like this. This is also wrong. See, whole paper is filled. You are supposed to fill the complete paper from start to finish. See, I have explained everything. That counseling done to husband, 24-3-21. I did the counseling. I explained then that the tubectomy, everything I wrote on the paper. Yes. 
कि दिस इज द पेपर एवरीथिंग इज रिटर्न ऑन द पेपर दैट इज पोस्ट ऑपरेटिव मैनेजमेंट वी रोट एवरीथिंग ऑन द पेपर एंड only except that sentence we did not alter the paper because they asked the paper in 2022 so it is very difficult to you know modify the paper because all these residents they passed out resident rutuja and all they they were not there when they asked the paper they when they the you know audit was there so always remember right from first day you are supposed to write the paper very correctly see multiple handwritings are there can you see this is different handwriting this is different handwriting even as a consultant we are supposed to write every round every day on the paper my rounds are there see this is my round a complaint of pain in a pain at operator ct all tablet imanzidi so this is my round in my handwriting because it is always a practice that resident writes the round and we sign the round this is not correct as you are a treating doctor you are supposed to write the round on the uh, round on the paper see multiple signatures are there multiple doctor observe the paper what they did when we send this paper they saw the same thing that how many doctors saw the patient to morning who saw the bp in the evening who saw the bp what was the condition of the patient everything they they saw it this is the paper of 60 pages almost 60 pages this is uh, you know anesthetic uh, consent for anesthesia this see i told you now this is the standard consent this is not a informed consent this is the standard consent this is the standard consent just only one thing i want to show you see this is the checklist of the ot checklist of the ot this is the ot checklist here here we only added that ecg is normal anesthetist in anesthetist note somewhere only we added that ecg is normal make moment everything everything is normal okay bye past history meal family history meal this is the pre anesthetic evaluation done by anesthetist this is these are the anesthetic notes notes very detailed notes even anesthetist sndt is there anesthetist name date sign and signature sndt in our hospital it, we uh, we made it compulsory for everyone to write sndt everywhere so this is the paper input output everything is mentioned no bleeding these are the you know hsg report almost 60 pages are there these are the six, these are 60 pages discharge note ha huh, even i want to tell you about the discharge summary so this discharge summary is is the document which is with the patient and that is also a legal document so you should always keep a copy of discharge summary with you so this is the ipd paper of that patient now i want to show you the opd paper also this is the opd paper of the patient willing for pregnancy tl done perperal tl done hsg this is the opd paper is every time sndt is there anesthetic fitness after reports c ecg x ray and everything we did covid pit rt pcr was done 
these are the post operative nodes then ocpls we have given so this is the paper now actually i want to show you one more paper of the patient uh, which where we have written that patient's relative rejected the sign actually right word tana ji ha see this is the patient uh, this is the paper of patient who died due to pih ma'am we are not able to see the paper okay wait can you see now yes yes so this is the patient this is also one that medical maternal audit see this is the paper pih patient paper and here patient rejected the signature that also we wrote on the paper patient's relative rejected see that on that day i remember we explained that patient everything till 4 o'clock iugr noted even they rejected the you know uh, amagarbha basti that also we wrote here see आमगर बस बस्ती घेण्याचा सल्ला दिला आहे पण आम्ही तो घेण्यासाठी तयार नाही सी हि बी रोट एव्हरीथिंग ऑन द पेपर ऍडवाइज बीपी मॉनिटरिंग ऍट नियर हॉस्पिटल फॉर थ्री डेज इफ मोर दॅन वन थर्टी नाईन्टी वन थर्टी नाईन्टी एम एम ऑफ इमिजिएटली कम टू हॉस्पिटल बीपी मॉनिटरिंग चार्ट गिव्हन टू द पेशंट येस सी हि पेशंटनी सही नाकारली डॉक्टरांनी माझ्या मुलीचे ताबडतोब सिझर करण्याचा सल्ला दिला असून तिचा नवरा जवळ नसल्याने आम्ही थोड्या वेळाने येत आहोत ओके नाव सी दिस पेज दे रिअली अप्रिशिएटेड दिस पेज हा द सेम डे नाईन ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी वन आय सॉ द पेशंट ऍट टू ओ क्लॉक अँड वी आज देम फॉर द सिझर एन सेक्शन काउन्सिलिंग डन टू आई टू ओ क्लॉक again at 4 o'clock i saw the patient and i explained them everything they appreciated that you know treating doctor attended the patient after 2 hours also and we tried really we tried to convince them that please we are uh, please admit your you know uh, daughter in law and uh, the caesar is indicated so do it and here they rejected the sign so why this paper were they considered that this paper very correct because previously they signed signed one consent now they rejected the sign even second time they rejected the sign counseling done to navra sasu ai and si patient or natyavaikanni sahi denas nakar dila we mentioned that on the paper that they rejected the sign and here we referred the patient and patient they took the patient home and the very next day patient died at home only and sasun recorded that patient brought dead so this is one more uh, you know uh, death audit i attended and we sent this paper uh, to the pmc so yes thank you uh, prajakta i think i took adequate time and what was uh, QA is there. You can ask me the questions. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very oh, much for your presentation. I would like to say, uh, beautiful with the minimum uh, points you have covered maximum uh, uh, the medical uh, issues uh, that we have to face in the practical uh, uh, during our practice. Actually, and uh, I would like to thank for this. it was a wonderful one presentation one of the best point to point presentation so uh, if uh, still if uh, any queries if you people have you have a uh, uh, opportunity today to ask anything regarding your practices regarding your medical legal issues right now so i uh, request all of you who are present over here if any questions you have please ask the madam she will definitely answer you all questions even you have a 24 hours in your whatsapp group also you can put your questions your queries over there she will definitely answer you 
yes and even if you uh, you are not having any questions now you can take my phone number you can take my email id my phone number is same as my whatsapp number you can contact me and whatever possible way i will definitely help you and guide you um, for your questions okay ma'am just one i want to ask uh, regarding the intro op if it is a obvious thing that we have to mention like a pph huh. intro op and during the uh, that uh, means intro op if the pp is happening and we are have to take a next step uh, during the surgical procedures so okay. how we should write our uh, documentation and if the patient uh, got uh, death on the intro of uh, during the intro op how should we maintain our record at that time because pph is like means um, we have a, it's it's a major issue for us for the yes. obstetric it's like we can't say which patient will land up in the pph and during yes. that if we find that then a patient is landing in the pph and before though we are trying our 100% we are giving our efforts into that still if we failed then how we should maintain our record you know uh, i have faced the same problem in 2009 i remember the name of the patient that is sutar the patient was admitted in our uh, ward for you know before that incident she was admitted almost 5 days in the hospital because of uh, moderate anemia her hb was 7 we have given her you know three blood two blood transfusion then she we induced her and she delivered i remember i was there in the hospital around 4:30 and uh, the patient delivered i saw her uterus that was well retracted minimum bleeding and all my home and hospital has having oh, just 20 minutes distance is there so as soon as i reach my reach home the resident called me that ma'am patient's bp pulse is not recordable and uh, the there is lot of bleeding okay i just moved my car and i went to hospital again and after reaching there i asked my resident that immediately whatever preliminary treatment you can give give the preliminary treatment and ship the patient to icu any nearby icu and we shifted that patient to icu but from 4:30 the patient was shifted to icu around 550 550 so from 430 to 550 because they recorded that patient brought dead so death was there in our hospital so we they sent the patient for pm now what is our task our task is to write the that till we shifted the patient in the ambulance that till that point that 550 we wrote on the paper every 10 minutes bp pulse and at at some point we mentioned that bp pulse is not recordable we did not write the death of the patient correct but sometimes you have to write it down and when you are facing this kind of problem call the physician first immediately call the nearby physician and be with the be take the physician with you monitor the patient and every 10 minutes monitoring should be written on the paper till you refer the patient or you till you till you death declare the death but always remember at 4:30 i met the relative i explained them everything that everything is fine and since then we you know we developed a habit that even if patient is normal we always tell the re relatives that anything can happen during the during the labor process so keeping the record till the bp pulse not recordable every 10 minutes every 5 minutes that is very important to write it down and then ask the physician to visit your hospital then see it and during that period continuously talk with the patient's relative because you know obstetric and gynec practice is very difficult practice because cardiologist declaring the death is very easy and gynecologist declaring the death is very difficult because patient is coming to your hospital 
वॉकिंग आता है अच्छी तरह से पेशेंट आप पेशेंट इज कमिंग टू योर हॉस्पिटल ऑन हिज ऑन हर ओन फिट लाइंग डाउन एम एवरीथिंग इज फाइन टॉकिंग एंड एवरीथिंग एंड सडन पलमोनरी एम्बोलिज्म इज देयर एंड डेथ इज देयर पीपीएच एंड डेथ इज देयर दैट इज रियली अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टास्क टू डिक्लेयर बट यू नो कीपिंग रेकॉर्ड टिल be people's not recordable and whatever actions you have taken simultaneously pitocin pitocin prostidin and you know um, plasma expanders and everything everything even if you are fumble you are very much you know disturb and sometimes we miss to do this and all put two three lines and keeping record till that every 10 minutes monitoring is very important Till you declare the death, but every time try to call other doctors also to help you. Okay, so keeping record is very important, and every ten minutes and multiple doctors in your handwriting because when you are managing the patient, na, you are not writing anything on the paper. I I know that it is very difficult to write it down on the paper, but as soon as it happens. i remember i reached the hospital at 550 and from 430 to 550 don't put residents notes put your own notes that you are there and you are observing the patient even even i was not there from 430 to 550 every note was by my signature because we are qualified residents are not qualified Res uh, registrars are not qualified the bms uh, the doctor the bms doctor or bhms doctor even if mbbs doctor is there you are the gynecologist gynecologist is observing patient matters or matters lot so write your own notes and theek hai it's okay i have faced all these things and how to keep yourself calm that you will learn when you face you will face the problem so yeah. write it down every 10 minutes monitoring and uh, till you declare the death that is the only way if this happens to you send me the photo of the case paper you, i will tell you the you, corrections you, where you, you have to add the how. notes and everything yeah this obstetrician ka wo ek sign hai jab tak aap pph face na karo ye emergency face na karo jab tak bitti nahi hai na tab tak samajh mein nahi aata bhai tum log aata hai and i have faced three times yeah three times in my life and i know what happens even perinatal death of the fetus very difficult to face yes you are taking the patient for the section because of obstructed labor and after delivering the patient patient uh, the baby uh, after delivering the baby baby is not crying no heart no respiration yeah. and you are declaring the death hmm very difficult even really? i have faced up uh, in twin pregnancy and my bad mm -hmm. luck was the twin pregnancy one was male one was female and male died female was alive <laughs> after <laughs> delivery <laughs> that is most difficult oh, part <laughs> most difficult most difficult most difficult the male baby what died the, immediately after we they have a special corner special soft corner we could say <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> they are more so precious you face it na but you know even if these things are happening na keep yourself very calm and quiet mm. yes very important few days a few months back there was a you know clavicle fracture clavicle fracture while delivering the breech baby now tell me how to declare that <laughs> but we did that yeah clavicle fracture it's not like i mean it can be easily uh, means uh, get cured no no but, but uh, still you are telling that uh, what happened when you are delivering the baby how can a clavicle fracture happen can yeah. you accept that this is the surgeon's mistake <laughs> tell me yes will you tell the, the patient yeah. no no we are while delivering the patient uh, by mistake we just you know pull the patient pull the pull. shoulder and because of that the clavicle fracture is there no you have to mm -hmm. explain it very differently which i did yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Very nice. I went in front of the patient. I was so, so, you know, uh, feared. I was having anxious and, you know, so depressed. When I faced the patient, I explained everything and that went good. Perinatal death, wow. still Very birth, nice. twin pregnancy, one dead, one live. And in top of that, if female is live and male is dead. Mm-hmm. So when you face it, see, I, I have faced so many complications in 30 years. Yeah. And attending death audit in front of modern science people is the toppest, you know, mm. problem. What that I have shows faced. in your presentation, the, the, the short one, but the smart one. So Thank the you. point that you have a choice, it was very nice. That, uh, that covers the most of the things that we should have to be uh, on the our priority and we should be on the, our toes while doing yes. our obstetric practice. Yes, 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 yes. Very, very difficult. And you know, uh, I always tell my resident that whatever confidence I have gained in my 30 years of practice, no need to practice for 30 years. You carry my confidence. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. That's what a guru can do. <laughs> when you are giving your 30 years experience to your shisha or to your, to your students yes. it's uh, it's indicating uh, that yes you are getting a perfect guide for that purpose that you are having such a masterpiece in front of you such an idol in front of you that she is giving your experience 30 years experience to in front of you to not to go through such a mistakes so, so even sometimes, you know, madam, we are not doing any mistakes, but it happens. But still happens. Yeah. You yeah. tell me, you tell me what, what was my mistake when I had, uh, you know, biopsy curate, endometrial biopsy curate. Yeah. <laughs> in half part remained in the uterus and remaining part came out. What was my mistake? Tell me. This, this happens. This happens. Because of rusting at that end point of the serrations. And mm-hmm. because of that, the, the half part remained in the uterus and the remaining part came out. What I did, tell me. How much forcefully you, one can do the, you know, uh, curettage. Mm-hmm. In DNC, endometrial biopsy, simple endometrial biopsy. Simple and diagnostic biopsy. How much force you are applying, tell me. That yeah. the metal, metal curettage gets, you know, cracked. Yeah. Nothing, it happened. Mm-hmm. But still, but still, you know, I face that. I yeah. explained them. I face them. Whatever true happened, I explained them. Even in case of what I did perforation uh, at Corno Land, I accepted. Mm-hmm. Now you know whatever complications you have, you are facing in your practice. You are supposed to add those complications in your counseling before the surgery. Yes. I always used to tell every patient obstetric hysterectomy, PPH, death, every time, every in every caesarean section. Hmm. For every DNC, DNE perforation. Truly. Now, now for uh, for last month, I have changed my you know consent. I have changed my counseling. I have added the complications of anesthesia also in my counseling because yeah. last month it happened that yeah. laparoscopic cyst removal was posted. Patient has been given scolene. Patient was under anesthesia and the, hmm. intub- the laryngoscope was not going in the larynx. The anesthetist was failed to do the laryngoscope. The SPO2 was 10. Oh. And you know, that was my luck that patient came out of anesthesia. Without intubation. Goodness. Now we, I changed my counseling. I used to tell them that sometimes anesthesia complications are also possible. Sometimes we have to cancel the procedure if the anesthesia yeah. complications are there and everything. What not you don't ask me. <clears throat> so from last month, I have changed my counseling. Last month. Yes. So every That's experience nice. One is telling you. Yeah, experience teaches us teacher. that we should have. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Acha, yes. Project Tar, yes. do you have any questions? Yes, yes. Yeah, I please. wanted to ask please. some questions. Yes, yes ma'am. ma'am. Are you there? Yes. Yeah. So, ma'am, I wanted to ask regarding you said the FOXI guidelines that we have to discharge the patient for LSCS on mm. day third only. Yes. And generally, what is happening in our clinical practice? Everyone is practicing differently. 
someone yes. is giving enema on third day someone is removing catheter on some different day so is this illegal or should we follow only the foxy guidelines is that no, that no. is my question no no that can you can you know uh, see uh, in our hospital if we are able to auscultate um, you know uh, bowel movements then only we start oral otherwise most of the time it is the practice that after 12 mm. hours or 8 hours the sip of water is given so that can be based on your experience so no okay. need to follow the foxy guidelines these are not uh, the fox uh, these things are not mentioned in the foxy guidelines when to okay. remove catheter but uh, some in some uh, some foxy guidelines gui government of india guidelines antibiotic uh, guidelines we can get antibiotic guidelines which antibiotic is to be given when antibiotic is to be given okay, okay. So, see if patient lands into septicemia okay mm-hmm. after a cesarean section her count is 30000 patient is going into septicemia then the guideline is that the antibiotic prophylactic antibiotic is to be given one hour prior to the planned cases okay so even if patient is you are you are seeing that on third day her wbc count is raised and she may land mm-hmm. into septicemia then change your notes mm-hmm. and write it down that at 10 o'clock the procedure started but at 9 o'clock antibiotic is given so few guidelines okay. you are supposed to follow Okay. okay so even if you are giving the antibiotic on ot ot table correct na every mm-hmm. time we mm-hmm. used to give on the ot table correct, correct. exactly not uh, one hour prior to the surgery mm-hmm. but now it, these are the guidelines that when the prophylactic antibiotic shall be given one hour correct. prior to the planned surgery emergency we can do anything mm-hmm. there is no any such guidelines for emergency cases correct Sorry. but for planned cases and he, he, on third day you find that the wbc counts are raising patient is having high grade fever and what not change your notes put the note that you have given a <laughs> prophylactic antibiotic one hour prior to the surgery okay okay so few things you must know okay ma'am any other guidelines apart from antibiotic which we should know like how you said about the discharge so that should be discharge on day 3 that is the guideline so that you know for dexa there are guidelines when to give dexa how to give dexa correct so these few yeah. guidelines you should follow i will try to find out the foxy guidelines whatever are, they, are there yes ma'am now you know now we had uh, a lecture on wednesday i think you have you attended the lecture of dr girija wak i have shared the link and she is the member of she is the chairman director of the foxy okay there okay. are so many changed guidelines of foxy okay. regarding the conducting the normal labor okay so you go through the latest foxy guidelines regarding la- yes, regarding labor regarding, regarding post cesarean section management you will also go and get it from the net correct so that correct. everything is there now how i get that uh, uh, mci guidelines the uh, council of india guideline uh, regarding the document keeping 22 guideline so latest guideline you go through the guidelines yes and every time keep ma'am. yourself updated that what are the guidelines yes yes ma'am if you also have then please share in the group also yes, yes, sure, sure. Sure. i will ask uh, dr wag also girija wag yes. that is, yeah. uh, she can share with me the latest foxy guideline Uh, regarding management of the of the gynec and obstetric cases i will ask her if she gives me i will definitely share in the group yes ma'am um, i wanted to ask... you can take a second lecture also no yeah we <laughs> <laughs> wish yeah. that i am not the expert of foxy but i will arrange the some person who is uh, who is the director chairman of foxy so we will arrange their lecture uh, his or her the lecture for us for me also yeah, yeah. to update no my knowledge no problem yeah ma'am this was such a practical and knowledge enhancing webinar and then we want more lectures yes ma'am. i will definitely would like to share my clinical experience because you know now we are having 
you know, I am almost seeing 400 to 700 patients a month. So my, yes. actually my theoretical knowledge is a little bit less, but my, you know, patient wise knowledge is very vast. And I would definitely like to share with you because I don't mm. want to keep all, all that knowledge with me only. I want to, you know, uh, imp I want to, you know, forward this to you all. Yes, ma'am. Because Thank you should you. be a very good clinician and practitioner. Ma'am, I wanted to ask one more question. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, regarding you said now that 4.30 if the patient comes and if we are reaching at 5.15, then then also, you know, to be on the safer side that you, you are talking about your residence and all that, you put the notes. But if there is some inquiry later and if, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if it is... Uh, uh, if it is understood that we are we were not there only because nowadays CCTV and stuff is there okay. so what do you think on that ma'am you know always remember that your paper speaks very loudly CCTV okay. footage is the last option whatever patient is saying na, hmm. it doesn't matter hmm. whatever your paper is saying whatever your hmm. documents are saying that are more hmm. important than anything else. Okay. Okay. So okay. even we write, write on the paper that we discuss the case on phone. Correct. Yeah, that also we write. Sometimes we used to discuss the case with modern science people, modern gynecologists regarding our case. Okay. Hmm. Nowadays, we need a lot of, you know, consultation with fetal medicine people. Yes. NT is this and NT is that and like that. Na? So double marker is uh, having this uh, raised and this is less and triple marker is having. So that fetal medicine consultation on phone, you write it down on the paper. That correct, consulted correct. doctor so and so from fetal medicine regarding apply, regarding, you know, regarding what uh, double marker, regarding triple marker, regarding NT scan and all that. Even if the fetal medicine person is not available, you write it down on the paper that mm -hmm. we discuss with them. And always try to call from your phone. Okay. So that okay. even if it is required in some cases, the phone mm -hmm. record can be given. Correct. Don't Correct. call from the landline. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, thank you so much, ma'am, for all these practical tips. Because normally in practice, yeah, these things are a little overlooked and we will definitely keep this in mind. Yes. Also, yes. one question I wanted to ask you, how to not get bogged down and how to not uh, decrease your confidence after the complications occur? Because it is, uh, you know, it is human nature. If police comes to your hospital or if the case is there, legal cases there. So how to keep your confidence and go in the OPD next day and see the patient? Because for uh, young practitioners like us, you know, if something <laughs> small also happens, we get, you know, the confidence is lost. So yes, yes. I, because you have so much clinical experience, what do you, how do you manage that? So many you things know. with a smile, how do you manage? <laughs> Initially, it was very difficult for me also. But, you know, uh, always... Keep in your mind, first thing, I remember one incidence of that uh, uterus ruptured. I told you the case. Mm -hmm. Because of fundalite, uterus was ruptured. And I remember the HOD of Bharti Hospital at that time, Dr. Mehendale was there. Mm -hmm. HOD at Bharti Hospital, OBGY department. Mm -hmm. uh, I even remember that that was the day of Lakshmi Puja. And very mm -hmm. next day, she called me as a HOD of Ayurveda Hospital and my unit case, she called me. She asked me Ki, how your residents are, you know, I was not only, we are not supposed only to face the patient, but sometimes we have to face our colleagues also. Correct? Yes. So she called me, she asked me, Ki, uh, Swati, she is very senior. So, in Marathi, she asked me, Swati, you have a patient with such a complication, you have a patient with such a complication, you have a patient with such a complication, how did you have a uterus rupture? You know, how did you have a uterus rupture? How did you have a patient with such a complication? And she heard me a lot of things. Okay? I was very calm and quiet. I did not, you know, reply to anything. Even my face was, inner, inside I was very disturbed. But my face was, I kept that my face very calm and quiet. At the end, I asked her, 
कि मेहंदे मैडम प्लीज टेल मी हाउ मेनी टाइम्स युअर रेसिडेंट परपजफुली डीड द कॉम्प्लिकेशन अरे बाप रे हाउ मेनी टाइम्स युअर रेसिडेंट परपजफुली डीड द कॉम्प्लिकेशन तो शी टोल मी नहीं डॉक्टर कभी कॉम्प्लिकेशन करता मी द आंसर देन आई टोल्ड हर दैट मैम डिस इज ट्रू फॉर एवरी पेश एवरी डॉक्टर वेदर इट इज एमबीबीएस एमडी एमबीबीएस बी एस एम बी एम एस बी एच एम एस लीगली ऑल्सो इट इज एक्सेप्टेड दैट द निग्लिजन्स फ्रॉम द डॉक्टर इज नॉट इंटेन्शनल दैट इज द फर्स्ट लाइन इन द मेडिकल लीगल मैटर so Correct. keep that confidence in your mind that we have not done anything purposefully correct have you done anything purposefully are we doing anything purposefully no no it happens all. it mm. happens we are helpless sometimes we are helpless we cannot do anything correct so correct. if you are very correct in your mind see sometimes this happens that you are doing three cesarean section at at a interval of 1 hour and one mm. patient wound gets you know uh, gaping wound of one patient is happened mm. so have you done anything wrong in that third patient no we have not done anything no the same the stitches we did with the same thread we used same uh, antibiotics we used but no, it happened happened so what we can do mm. so always keep in your mind that we have not done anything wrong correct and even not purposefully correct when something went wrong hmm we have not done anything purposefully purposefully correct correct injection abscess hmm are we doing it purposefully no no you know you know uh, bladder uh, injury are we doing yeah. it purposefully no no so keep that in your mind that you are not doing anything wrong purposefully it happened mm, mm, now correct. whatever is happened you have to go and face it but inside you should be very confident that we have not mm. done anything purposefully it happened correct. whatever happened we are we are supposed to accept it and we have we are supposed to explain them medically medical legally i use, i always used to tell my uh, patient that whatever complications i am explaining you they mm. are there in my textbook correct correct so these are accepted in my textbook also humko jo padhane ke liye books hai usme ye complications hai even if they are rare mm. yes तो मेरे कबड़ में जो सामने बुक रहता है मैं उसको बोल मैं पेशेंट को बोलती हूँ ये बुक में लिखा हुआ है कि ये कॉम्प्लिकेशन हो सकता है एंड दिस हैपन्ड करेक्ट यू हैव नॉट डन एनीथिंग इंटेंशनली बट दिस हैपन्ड दैट हाफ क्यूरेट सीरियल हाफ पोर्शन ऑफ दैट बायोप्सी क्यूरेट रिमेन इनसाइड द यूट्रस दिस हैपन्ड हम्म यू नो करेक्ट करेक्ट दिस you know you should accept that we have not done anything very anything purposefully this happened mm. and as it happened we are in front of you and you are we are trying to explain you everything yes yes so that yeah. confidence you should, you must have in your you know heart in your mind that we have Correct. not done anything wrong purposefully it happened and what we are we are facing it we yes. are also humans yes true very true we are also humans but you know you must show lot of confidence on your face yeah. when something mm. goes wrong mm -hmm. if your eyes are not confident your body language is not confident i you i always tell my residents that see my body language this is <laughs> happened na see my body language correct whatever mm. i am writing on the paper don't see on that when you are walking towards that complicated patient your body language should be so confident just five minutes back best to confident ha huh? best to confident i i i am i'm telling her that is the best take home points that she's telling us at the last this yes, is the best yes. to confident actually and one should remember that how you are going to face your patient or your complication is what she is telling us it's actually the way that you should hmm. stand for your complication yeah, yeah. even that clavicular really fracture patient just 
outside my in my cabin we discussed the case almost 8 10 residents were there we discussed the case now what to do how to explain then i asked my my resident now we will go just two minutes walk okay uh, come with me we will go and explain the patient because patient was very angry that how it happened how that fracture was there and you know uh, there was a dispute between the resident and the relatives when i went home and they were very you know angry on that then next day the resident explained tell, told me everything ma'am this this and this happened then i asked my resident now come with me see i am also very much scared inside but see my face see my body mm. how i am walking how i am going towards mm. the patient even if 10 relatives are there how to approach mm. them how to go in, in the mob mm. the mob how your body language should be there that is very important the confidence on really your is in your eyes on your face on your body language inside we are you know scattered we are dis- dis- you know disturbed that what mm. happened i have not done anything but this happened now what to do you know that all feeling is there inside your heart ki mi kaiz kele nahi kiti bad luck hai na asa nako to vhayla ata mi kaso bolnar kay sangnar you know all this feeling is there inside your heart but face should not you know reflect that inside feeling on your face yeah that is the best uh, that is the best message i think we all should apply because this, that this is the most important thing which at times it is not possible i think it would be possible with experience only yes. but yes we will definitely try yeah, it yeah. because yeah you see previously i was also like that you like you only na but yeah. you know, my my actually my blessing is that i am seeing lot of patients lot of complications mm mm-hmm. and i made myself yes yes even from in front of modern science people i am talking so confidently even yes. ayurveda hmm when i will correct correct i i always tell them that allopathy that is your expertise but don't tell challenge me in, in case of ayurveda treatment that is correct. my treatment correct <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was such a confident uh, webinar yes <laughs> no, no, no. the project is not going to stop you want to you want to get here again and again and again i am just mesmerized by i am mesmerized by ma'am's yes. confidence and speech and everything i'm just mesmerized yeah <laughs> no but no but you know if there are the injections of confidence i would have prepared that yeah yeah definitely <laughs> no no but you will yeah. learn that definitely see yeah. my residents even my residents after they become so confident you can talk mm. with them sometime that uh, you know gaping patient complete resuturing and you are feeling mm-hmm. patient you know so this is very important that you must build your confidence and this is yes. a, this is the process but after Correct. meeting you know people who are confident who are encouraging mm. you you can mm. build your confidence in short time correct correct initially when we were having a principal from medical college initially in 95 96 they mm. used to tell us that are aapne delivery kiya hai आयुर्वेद हॉस्पिटल में कोई बच्चा भगा के लेके जाएगा तो क्या करोगे आप Hmm. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Even if Thank you other so people much, are ma'am. not criticizing yeah. us, they are criticizing us. वो क्या दूरी रहता है ना इसके लिए पेशेंट उनके पास डिलीवरी के लिए जाता है दूरी. We are giving दुपन ना after delivery. हाँ. 
तो ओबीजीआई डिपार्ट भारतीय ओबीजीवाई डिपार्टमेंट दे आर सीइंग दैट वो दूरी देते हैं ना इसके लिए पेशेंट उनके पास जाता है अरे जो भी हम लोग देते हैं इसलिए आता तो है हमारे पास पेशेंट आपका एट हंड्रेड बेड हॉस्पिटल है बट वी आर कॉम्पिटिंग विथ हंड्रेड हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी डिलीवरीज अंथ वी आर कॉम्पिटिंग विथ यू स्मॉल सेटअप Yeah, that's very commendable job, ma'am. And I think I, everyone, <laughs> this is them. We should take in the positive way. Even yes. even they, sometimes they make us more strong. Yes, they, yes, very true. true. They give us the vision to move towards. Yes, Miss, mm. yes, we accept and we come forward. And you know, the key point is that whoever practicing nearby you, keep mm. your relation very good with them. okay when you are talking with you know the nearby hospital icu people mm hmm make rapport with them you know Get they it. they will protect their doctors they will not protect us mm hmm always remember they will not Get protect it. us but you should be strong confident ki nahi ye foxy guideline ke liye hi maine ye kiya hai hamara patient mm. anemia se unke paas jata hai तो हम लोगों को बताना चाहिए कि अकॉर्डिंग टू जी आई गाइडलाइन ओनली हंड्रेड आयन टैबलेट्स आर इंडिकेटेड आई हैव गिवन हंड्रेड आयन टैबलेट्स ओके डोंट टेल अस दैट आयन शुड बी गिवन फॉर नाइन मंथ्स डोंट टेल अस दैट इज माल प्रैक्टिस मींस यू आर डूइंग माल प्रैक्टिस गिविंग आयन थ्रू आउट द प्रेगनेंसी इज अ माल प्रैक्टिस अकॉर्डिंग टू जी आई गाइडलाइंस जी आई गाइडलाइंस इज टेलिंग अस दैट ओनली हंड्रेड आयन टैबलेट्स Uh, should be given during nine months of pregnancy. Okay. Khatam. So giving iron throughout the pregnancy is a mal practice according to G O I guidelines, Government of India guidelines. Okay. So even if you are giving Ayurvedic iron, okay. Yes. Yes. The patient is having anemia. Hmm. Keep a record of hundred iron given to the patient. Okay, <laughs> but then how to treat the anemia? Then, if the patient is anemic, <laughs> then can we increase the dose or no? Dose of what? If the patient is having anemia, then uh, we will have to continue for a longer period, rather more than hundred tablets. So, can that be increased? No, no, no. Really. No? So, see, if someone is arguing with you, ah, ha, that is a argument. Because modern Achha. science people they always used to argue. मुझे फोन आता है. What you are doing for IUGR? Because patient Achha. registered at our hospital came to your yeah. hospital, and they are yeah. saying that in Ayurveda hospital they are treating IUGR. They are treat. They are improving the birth weight of the baby. So we are Correct. going there. Mm. So I always used to tell them you are covering two root of administration of protein. I am covering three root of administration of protein. Okay, that is amagar bhavasti, egg enema. Correct. Correct. Rectal Correct. administration of protein. You are covering two. Correct. You are covering three roots. So simple. Correct. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am, for yes, this detailed you. and well explained and well articulated session. And I think more detailed uh, Q and A session also. and uh, as much as we will all like to hear you through the night also but uh, yeah <laughs> but we will no, definitely you can continue like prasad to... you can continue uh, but uh, even we have uh, our whatsapp platform so we can continue yes, yes. we yes, have yes. 24 hours and tell yes, everyone yes. that we can yes, put yes. their queries yes. yes. but on whatsapp but i would like yeah. to tell you one thing that i don't like to you know uh, write on the whatsapp group you call me personally you send me personal message i will definitely explain you just few days back there was a uh, on you on that group or i think nima group or kagos group i don't remember but there was a patient uh, there was a report of hemorrhagic cyst and there was lot of discussion on the hemorrhagic cyst you know hmm. actually if the hemorrhagic cyst the uhg done between the 10th to 20th day of the menstrual cycle the hemorrhagic cyst is the normal report if it is post menstrual fifth day then that is to mm. be treated otherwise everyone is writing on that give oc pills give this give that and no 
if it is during the ovulation period hemorrhagic cyst is between the ovulation mm. every woman is having over hemorrhagic cyst during the ovulation period not only she mm. not only that patient mm. you know theory is not good sometimes we lack theory mm. yes correct if 13th day sonography is done and the sonography is showing hemorrhagic cyst are that is rupture of the uh, follicle that is correct. not the hemorrhagic cyst but they don't label that as a rupture of follicle they label it as hemorrhagic cyst but as a gynecologist you must understand that that is the 13th day sonography and hemorrhagic cyst mm. the rupture of the follicle and that is normal mm. yes correct correct so i don't discuss on the group you you will i am on every group but you will never see my discussion on the group no problem if yes. if uh, if uh, you can you can, you can send me the text i will definitely and you know as a you know i am hardcore academician also hmm. so i always i always write to write uh, explain in a scientific manner hmm hmm right if i explain you in scientific manner why then you will remember that permanently hmm only suggesting treatment you will not learn anything from the treatment if you want yes, to learn definitely. you want to remember you should understand the thought process behind that correct so if you understand the thought process behind that then only you will remember and you will apply whenever that kind of case will come in future also correct correct otherwise only correct. for that case discussion happens and what is the future of that discussion nothing so that hemorrhagic cyst case i think galle vadina karuchu that i don't remember so priyanka thank, thank you jalpa thank you for inviting me uh, for this session and uh, hope whatever little bit knowledge i am having i try and everyone from the you know from you all and whenever you want to discuss any case whenever you want to call please call me any time because now at this phase after the th 30 years of clinical practice i am i know that i can definitely help you in your practice so thank you thank you priyanka thank you jalpa is dimon madam is there thank you dimon madam for kamini madam for inviting me for the lecture so thank you all thank you so much ma'am for uh, such a detailed and wonderful session i think uh, we all can use so many tips and tricks which you have said right from tomorrow in our practices yes so uh, thank you so much ma'am this was very unique session and we required this and will we will require a part 2 also very soon <laughs> yes so uh, ma'am uh, with your permission should we go forward with the vote of thanks yes sure yes yes uh, dr niketa kindly go forward with the vote of thanks yes yeah, sure ma'am Uh, on the behalf uh, on the behalf of nima obijwa society i would like to express my gratitude uh, to uh, nima central members dr ashutosh kulkarni sir uh, dr us pandey sir and dr shantila sharma sir for uh, the remarkable support i extend my gratitude to our nima obijwa central president dr kamini dhiman madam secretary dr priyanka nakade madam treasurer dr vishnu bhavne sir and convener dr rajesh uddani sir for supporting and guiding us to conduct today's webinar i would also like to thank and extend my gratitude to our eminent speaker dr swati mohite ma'am who took time from her busy schedule and delivered very knowledgeable i must say it is a very crystal clear session thank you so much ma'am i would further like to extend my gratitude to our nima obijwai maharashtra president dr suha serlekar sir secretary dr manoj gaikwad sir treasurer dr ajayraj bal sir for all their support to conduct today's webinar i would also like to thank dr girish daga sir and dr prajakta patil ma'am for all the help and technical support last but not least i would like to thank from the bottom of my heart to all the delegates for their participation and presence without them this webinar would not have been possible and succeeded now with the due permission of all the dignitaries Uh, i would like to conclude today's webinar uh, shall shall we conclude the session ma'am yes yes you can thank you all uh, thank you thank you all
Thank you all for attending and hope you have learned and gained great knowledge from today's speaker. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you.